Can Medicaid access funds that are within, or assets that are within an irrevocable trust? Not a revocable trust, but an irrevocable trust. That's today's question. And the answer is, it depends on how that trust is structured and how it's worded. Generally speaking, just so to give you a, a little bit of a difference, if your assets or money is in a revocable trust, that is 100% as if it were in your name alone. With an irrevocable trust, it depends on how it's drafted, right? So the way we draft an irrevocable trust is our client, the Medicaid planning, the, the Medicaid, the one who's engaging us for Medicaid planning is unable to access the assets and they may or may not be able to access the income. So when Medicaid is looking at that trust, they're going, okay, if the Medicaid applicant has the ability to touch the principal or demand that the trustee pay them money or pay for their expenses, then they're going to say, well, this is available to you and we are going to disqualify you from benefits, depending on how much is in that trust. Similarly, if the income is available to you, then they're going to count it uh, as income and they're going to say, you can't say, uh, you, you can't refuse the income from an irrevocable trust. If it's due to you, it's due to, you have to accept it and that's okay. We have other income trusts to deal with that. So. The answer to the question is it depends. It depends on how it's worded. And also typically the way this is working is people are coming to us in advance of needing care. Not always, but if they're talking about an irrevocable trust, they are coming to us typically with at least five years notice before they are interested in applying for Medicaid. And the idea is if you take assets that the client will not have access to and you're putting it into an irrevocable trust and if it's there for five years, it's now invisible after that five year period has passed. If they, someone needs care within five years, which is a lot of my clients, they want care in the very near future, then we're not using an irrevocable trust. We use different strategies in order to protect their assets and get them access to Medicaid. Because if you gift assets away, whether it's to an individual or to an irrevocable trust for five years, there's gonna be a penalty involved if you're applying for Medicaid. So it's a little more complicated than that, uh, but I just to kind of can give you a, a taste of the sort of things that we'd be talking about during a full consultation. If you're in Florida and you're interested in asset protection in a Medicaid planning context, whether you need Medicaid now or whether you wanna plan in advance, we can help you out. Please give us a call, schedule a consultation, visit elderneedslaw.com.